And uh, just to sort of put things in perspective, although not a unicorn, this is this is a horse using the same design that I did a very very long time ago. Um, this thing is qu quite a number of years old. I'm not sure exactly how many. Uh, certainly more than five. Uh, as you can see, I, I made what would have been the horn into a mouth, um, and it's got a bit better defined ears. But in general. Uh, I don't know about you, but that doesn't really look very horse-like to me. So, if it doesn't come out right the first time, try again, and uh, eventually you'll get something that looks more like this. And here you can see uh, I did some additional modifications. Um, there's a line going from the neck all the way down the body. This is foil paper, so you probably can't see it very well. But that helped to narrow the body a bit more. Uh, the tail was a bit bigger, the horn was a bit longer. So this shows um, a few of the modifications. The horn was also folded over on the outside instead of using uh, inside reverse folds. And here's another one. And just to show you the, the kind of slight variation that can occur um, just from making different changes in the fold angles, here you can see there's a big flap over the hind leg. Now on this one it didn't come out so big, it's actually pretty small. So very, very small changes in the fold angles uh, made in steps six through seven will do that. <clears throat> and just for fun, things you can do with your unicorns when you have lots of them. And I, I think the unicorns had the right idea here. And you can even have your own origami reenactment of Charlie the Unicorn complete with uh, an origami Leopleridon.